We begin with investigators working to figure out why a mom and her two-year-old son plunged to their deaths at Peco Park over the weekend. They fell from the concourse dining area just minutes before the first pitch on Saturday. Our Jamie Chambers starts us off live from Peco Park with the latest on this developing story. Jamie. Yeah, it's just an absolute heartbreaking uh, incident all the way around. Early in the investigation, there were some reports that it happened at the Omni Bridge. That is not the case. It was from the concourse dining area. While investigators continue to try to look through whatever types of video that they have and try to get their arms completely around this investigation. Homicide investigators are calling the falling death of a 40 year old woman and her two year old son suspicious after investigators have interviewed witnesses and gathered evidence at the scene. I've been fully briefed um, by our police department uh, on the day of and in the days since. It's horrifically tragic. There are a lot of unusual circumstances around the case that we continue to investigate. It is suspicious. The fall happened from the Petco Park concourse on the west side of the ballpark just before the Saturday game. Mayor Todd Gloria says the event has collectively broken the heart of San Diego and he's following this investigation closely. There were several witnesses, unfortunately no cameras, um, but several witnesses who were there who were clearly traumatized. Uh, this is on top, obviously, of the trauma of the loss of uh, the mother and her child. Um, these are very tragic things. This is not why people go to Petco Park. Uh, they go to have a day of enjoyment, to enjoy seeing our incredible Padres. Um, that wasn't what people experienced on Saturday. It's very tragic. While no official conclusion has been confirmed, the mayor felt it necessary to say this. We have a mental health crisis that we don't talk nearly enough about and COVID has exacerbated that greatly. I hope that folks who find themselves in this position and there's no shame in admitting that you're having challenges uh, to avail themselves of the many services that are out there. Um, you are not alone in this regard. Many people are suffering with depression, anxiety, uh, either because that was the way that they've been for a while or because the pandemic has exacerbated it. Whatever it is, seek out help. There is no need uh, to harm a child, uh, to traumatize others in our community. Uh, there's help that's out there if you need it. And the Padres did release a statement saying that they were simply heartbroken by this entire incident. They say they aren't go they're not going to release another statement until homicide investigators clear this incident and come to some sort of conclusion. But we are getting word that there is imminent um, con conclusive ideas moving forward and it should be in the next day or so from some of the investigators that we've been speaking with. That's the very latest from downtown. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right, and we know you'll stay on top of it, Jamie. Thank you so much.